Hello, good morning. Well, it is morning where I am. It is Saturday morning and I am about to go garage sailing. Um, I woke up at five. It is now six o'clock in the morning. I looked up some stuff to see what's going on out there and um, we have like a estate sale going on. We got a couple of those. We have a um, like a storage unit auction and I'm kind of like really intrigued about that. So I'm super excited. Hello, my name is Jamie. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Love Inspired Tags. And this is basically a channel about my journey on reselling. Um, today is Saturday and I usually do garage sales on Saturday, weather permitting. Sorry if I'm talking so quiet. Everybody in my house is sleeping, so, um, but I just wanted to record an intro to this video. I'm going to try to vlog part of today's um, experience and hopefully we'll find some really good things. Let's go. All right, and we are off. We're going to our first garage sale. It's about 20 miles away. A lot of garage sales around here don't open until like eight, but it is seven o'clock. We like to get it early start, so we're going to one a little bit further out. It's a several house, several family garage sale, so hopefully they have some good stuff, especially since we're driving so far. We're going to the storage auction today that one starts at 10 but we are going to have to get there probably at like 9 or just a little bit maybe 9 30 so we will see and i will keep you guys updated so we are at our first house and it's out in the boonies my husband says we're not i'm not allowed to buy anything we'll see Ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, it's this one. I don't know how much for that. Do you see? Do you see a price for the Levi's vest? This jacket. How much 
for the Levi vest. Two dollars. I'm not looking, she says. It's not for me, dear, she says. I'm not looking. 20 minutes later. <laughs> so, we just went to our first one that we drove 20 miles for. Just found a Levi's jean vest. Got it for $2. Um, hubby didn't find anything <laughs> and this trip is actually like for him but you know you can't pass up stuff so we're going to another one here right down the road um, maybe he'll find something there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of stuff here but we'll see Not, no clothes that I can tell so I'm safe <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully I'll be able to record, but it's pretty small, so. Well, don't need a coffee table. Your entertainment table? No, definitely, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. The vacuum? Look, that's like an old school vacuum. Oh, 
Oh yeah. In the empty spot where the uh this is pot. Down in the back here. I had left the it. The whirly pot. pot. It was general out before I had loaded it up. And I tried to park it like straight back, so you know, where so I like a rinky CK blanket. Green yeah. ATV is. I tried, and that's mm. where I did it, right there. Not the one that's not hard for. Thank you all very much. All Thank right. you. Okay. You too. Okay, so we just left that one. That one was not any good, like I thought. Um, just a bunch of, well, you'll see when um, you probably just saw what we saw. So nothing much. The blankets out there, they were wet. I hate when people leave their stuff out overnight and it gets wet. Like you don't even want to buy it because it's just gross. <laughs> it feels gross. So right now we are on our way to a church sale so i've heard good things about church sales we've been to what two and we haven't really been impressed would you have been impressed with the two we went to um one was inside and we thought it was going to be like really big and lots of stuff but it wasn't and then the other one was outside wasn't that that um sale that we did uh, the with the tables and we, we got the brown bag yeah, yeah that one was really small so those are the two that we've been to so now we're gonna go to our third ever church sale and I don't know the pictures look good but the pictures looked good on the other that I saw that we went to before so we will see we're not far from it so might as well stop and uh, so that's where we're headed now we'll see you there here we are, we are at the church. We are at the church. Is it that building right there we go into? Assuming. Hopefully we find, fingers crossed, some good there. Hopefully Cody finds something, right Code? What's the goal in life? <laughs> Here we go.
this but she's got a smaller one like that but she uses it to draw stuff down here. Bam. You see that? So we just left the church. Didn't find anything really. The hubs didn't. I found 
one um, I found a pair of Fabletics activewear pants and I thought they were gonna be a dollar but they were only actually 25 cents so there's nothing like you know spectacular they're just a like a lavender pink color and uh, but I, I got them because Fabletics is a good brand and um, and it was only a quarter. So right now we are at what 225, <laughs> and it's all me, of course, because the husband does hard goods, and it's a little bit harder to find hard goods. Uh, so the struggle is real for him. <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> but. We're gonna probably hit up two more garage sales since they're right next to us, and I think we need to start heading out to the the auction, um, the storage unit auction, and then um, so that'll be exciting. I don't know if we'll buy a unit. We'll have to see. We've never been to one of these, so it's the first time, and obviously a huge gamble. So we'll at least get to go and see what it's like and you guys get to come with us so hopefully you know it'll work out for us but we'll see so we will see you on the next garage sale video coming up here right now okay so we just left that one I didn't record because it was really really small and so sometimes it's a little awkward coming up with the camera but there wasn't a whole lot there um, she was selling a Michael Kors purse though. It was really pretty, brand new with wallet, $140. So obviously that's not something I can buy and resell. Uh, I don't know even if that would be worth it. Um, but I got some Calvin Klein jeans for $3 there and that was pretty much it. Uh, again, there was nothing for the husband. Did you look at the TV? How much yeah. did they want for the TV? 90 bucks for a crap TV. <laughs> $90 for TV. What brand was it? Some knockoff Walmart brand that you can uh, buy for 100 bucks a Walmart brand. So, yeah. It was a little bit... Sometimes that's the str struggle with garage selling is um, they like to price it pretty high. And obviously it w might work for them, but it does not work for resellers. It makes it harder. So you gotta be careful. So now we're on our way to another one, and then, like I said, we will be heading out to the storage unit auction. All right. So the last garage sale we went to was again not that great. Had some clothes, but nothing really good. Um, really, what else did they have? Like nothing. Like really nothing. So. We have been driving out to the storage unit auction. We're about 10 minutes away, a little bit less now than 10 minutes. And we almost got pulled over, but not really. <laughs> the car next to us got pulled over. Um, I thought he was coming after us, but we lucked out. So yes, we're going, uh, we're making it there on time. Thank goodness we did not get slowed down. And uh, otherwise today would have been a very pricey day with a ticket. The road went from what, 55 to 40 real quick like and there was a trooper waiting to strike. So at this storage unit place, they also are having a yard sale. So it's a, it's a yard sale slash auction and you have to get there a little bit early to register, to bid, and I don't know, hopefully it'll be fun. Hopefully I can record a lot. I don't have a lot of footage, so this might be a short video. We'll see. I'm trying to get what I can. Anything you wanna to add to the- There's land for sale back there. There's land for sale. So we're taking like the back roads to get to here. We're, uh, so originally we drove 20 miles out, which is about 30 minutes. And now we're kind of like cutting across. We're still quite a ways. We're basically 
going to towns around our area to to look for stuff and sometimes when we do that we do good when we go outside of our area but today has kind of like not been the greatest greatest day but yep we've seen cows our first cross hill <laughs> was at a farm so that was cool and you'll see footage of that because I recorded it but very pretty views I wish I could turn my camera around but apparently you can't if anybody knows how that I don't know because I've googled it and look we got horses more horses oh, oh I thought that was a cow on the road <laughs> I thought that was a real cow like, what? Oh, there's a cow over there. Cows. Cows. So yeah, we're in the country. It's pretty nice out here. Wish we lived out here, but we live in town. Look at all this land. I would love to live there. Look at it. That's just so pretty. It seems so quiet and relaxing. Hopefully it's good so that I can get a lot of footage there. But sometimes we get excited about stuff and it doesn't turn out to be as great. But at least we go out and see. Because that's all you can really do. I am hungry. I am hungry and I'm getting a headache. Look at that. All that land. Uh, 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 uh. So we're about one minute away actually, so we're almost there. Somewhere. It's gonna be a storage place. Oh wow. There's a lot. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, so we just took a peek. We're gonna go to the gas station first. But we we can see it from here and there's a lot of people out there and there's a lot of stuff. So hopefully it's good. We will see you in a minute or a second right here. You lock it again because I just. Can do that again, huh? How much did you get?
like two years old. birthday stuff and banners some of it's new that you can give to your friends it's when they turn 40 50 and 60. Okay. Mm -hmm. what did they say to register and get your bedding number and so it doesn't start until 10.
Ooh, I'm sorry. You're good. Sorry. He'll give 55. 60? 100. 100. Okay. He'll give 125. 150. All right. 160? 
set, okay? You had 160 behind you. 170, 180, 190. Okay, 200, who go 210? 210, all right, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 260 over here. No? 260? <laughs> Pressure's on, man. Okay, we got 250. Anybody will go 260? Okay, 250 once. Twice. Okay, we got 260. 270? Who'll go 280? 280? 290. <laughs> 300, who'll go three? You go three? Okay, we got 300, who'll go 310? 320, who'll go 320? We got 310, once, 310 twice. <laughs> There's our bidder right there in the purple shirt. Oh. <laughs> okay, 310, sold for 310. It don't matter, it's all good. 23. 23. 23. I see a lot of fun in those boxes. Well, you try. You can't say you didn't try. I think it'll work. <laughs> I'd love to just actually like just go through it with the person now. <laughs>
Okay, you're going to go from 100 to 230. You'll go 240. Nobody else going to go to. Okay, we've got a 240. 250. All right, we've got 250. He'll go 260. 270. We've got 260. Okay, we've got 270. 280. Anybody over 280? All right, 290. You can go 290. 290. All right, 300. 310. Maybe we've got 300. Anybody got to go 310? No, I wouldn't do it anymore. We've got 300 once. Twice, they sold for $300 to get her number 24, right? That's right. $300. All right. Thank you all for coming out. Now you can just hand me your numbers. How often do you do this? Is it like monthly? Usually about three times a year normally. Three times. Okay. Thank you. I thought you wanted it. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I don't. I would have wanted it if we got the. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't really need it. Where am I gonna put it? No, those are decorative. Oh. Those aren't part of the storage unit. I wanted to just. Take it in the Yeah, that's the one that you'd want for the thing, but I, I just wanted the unit. I wanted that whole unit, man. There was like tons of. I told you, I was like, yeah, but you didn't do it. Everybody was bidding on that one, you kept going up, the guy next to us, so this is, yeah, that's crazy. And I got my cue, I'm like, I think you need to stop. <laughs> I don't think there's anything really, that make, you don't even know what works. A $500 grill is broken. Makes it easier. He does this professionally. Yeah, that guy was beating us today. <laughs> oh man, I'm so jealous of that person that got that, all those boxes. So we are done. We just left. That was a very, I thought it was fun. I thought it was a fun experience. There was only three storage units that were being auctioned off. Wish there was more because that was pretty fun. And I like that they let you look into it before you bid. You're not just like blind bidding. You kind of are, but you're not. You can at least get an idea of what you are getting. The first one was crap. It just had tables and chairs, a couch that looked gross. So I imagine the table and chairs were probably in the same condition. Mm -hmm. um, also gross mattresses had gross mattresses so pretty much I would say 98% of that would have been probably tossed huh you'd have yeah. had to toss that nobody even wanted to do 50 on it the starting bit so they had to start it off at 10 and then the second one was my favorite that I had to nudge my husband to bid because he didn't I think he saw the work and not the the possibilities. I said I would go up to three. Yeah, you yeah. did. And then you started to slack off. And I'm like, would you, would you do it? Well, then raise your own hand. <laughs> I don't have a number. I can't. No, so you can raise for me. I can't raise. So, and then I probably would have got dirty looks from him if I would have raised. So, that one, I don't know how well you can see it in the video because I was, I was trying not to be obvious about recording but had lots 
and lots of boxes in it. Now that's not promising always, but it excited me and I thought, you know, you don't know what's in there. It could be anything. And some, the guy next to us said that um, it could be antique stuff. Didn't he say there was like antique stuff? Maybe. I heard him say there was like antique stuff. They had some like corner baker racks that I really liked, but, and then Cody was so sweet. He tried to make a deal with the guy who won to buy him. And the guy didn't even know what you were talking about. <laughs> Um, but I don't need them that bad to pay up for them. I, I just thought, you know, as a package deal with the unit, I thought they were really cool. Then there was the third one, and the third one was like a man storage unit. It had a grill, fishing rods, um, but it did have like a dresser. What else did it have? Dresser, two computers, a grill racks some boxes but it only had like the towers right it didn't have like the screens the yeah computers. i know it's all i want is a tower we have a tower at home but, that's correct you know. like well it, the one old. that was in that unit was the same thing it was a dell one no there was another one a little mini one sitting off to the side so yeah that's basically all i saw. oh it had like a tool but like a one of those i don't know if it was craftsman but it had like one of those tool drawer things what do they call cody you know, the metal tool drawer, metal tool drawer thing. Anyway, um, so I imagine it probably had tools in there. There was some boxes, there was some bags of stuff. So, but then as Cody was going crazy bidding on that one, cause he had no qualms about doing that one. Uh, you, crazy? you were like, me. yep, 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 yep. <laughs> And then I'm like, that's enough because the guy next to us was shaking his head at these, at him and the other guy that were bidding over it. And he's, he's like that, he's like, that's crazy. And I'm like, okay, that's my cue. We probably should not bid anymore on that. So we didn't, we didn't win anything. Um, we did not win, but it was fun. And I'm kind of thankful in a way. I'm not, I should say I'm just, I'm not like disappointed, disappointed that we didn't win any of them because it would have been a lot of work. And like I said before, we're in, we're in the next town over. So this would be basically an all day job, like all weekend job for us. And we'd have to figure out where to put this stuff. So it would be pretty busy. And Cody was saying that the guy who won, he won the second one or was it the third one? The one that has a crew. So the guy who won the second one has a crew. So that probably, you know, that's not even, if we would have won the second one, we would have had to carry all that stuff home. And I'm, I don't know what's in, it could be bugs. These are outside units, so they're not climate controlled. So that's another thing. They got, probably got a warehouse. Yeah, so if you have um, like a warehouse, I think it'd be easier. I think he's, obviously he's a professional, obviously. That, you know, but I would really love to go to more, but I, mean, I don't ever see them. And I lucked out on this one because they had it posted on, I saw it on the garage sale app. I don't know if you check like Craigslist, maybe you have to. We, we use a storage unit, so maybe if you, you know, we could check with them, see if they ever do it. But they're so, you know, fairly new. And if they only do it, so I asked the lady what, how often she does it. She says, what, three to four times a year. Yeah. So they probably, it's probably not off, often that people don't pay, pay their rent. Yeah, and then they just wait and do it when they have a few to auction off. What did you think about it? Yeah, I think I need a 30 foot trailer. Which 30 foot trailer. Yeah, things like you wanted to win today. Yes, I wanted that second one so bad. I was really, I was disappointed at first afterwards. I had a 30 foot trailer just back in the day. Load it all up in there and go on but the, but the problem is, yeah, I mean, yeah, because you could just keep it in the trailer and we can yeah. go through it at home. Yeah. That's true. But we're not at that point yet. If we ever get to that point, we'll go buy us a big trailer. But you think it'd be lucrative if you have people who have like a crew. Like yeah. they gotta have people you can make that money with it. There were a few things in there, so some Blu-ray players, some DVD players. Yeah, when when I saw that, I thought, oh, Cody's gonna be like. Eh. He's probably looking at 40, 50 bucks. I know. Tomorrow. Yeah. 
Now what's in the boxes? I don't know. It could be a whole bunch of crap that... I know, but there were so many boxes. I wanted so bad to go through them. Even though we didn't even win it, I wish I could be there to go through it with the guy. I'm trying to think if there was any repeat buyers. No, three different people won all of them. Oh no, 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 no. The guy, the same guy won the first one and the last one. Okay. He's got to have somebody to help him. Yeah, I'm sure he has a crew too. You have two? You totally bit up that guy on the third. <laughs> it probably would not even have gone for that much if not for you. <laughs> What did you want? You just, was it the grill that you wanted? Yeah, so the bad? grill was $500. Brand new, probably. Yeah. It's in good shape. No rust. No there, was some, there was some rust.